Today we're putting in one of those solar inlets. So first, clean roof, just enough. We're gonna drill a hole. I know where my measurements are. I'm putting it right here. And drill a pilot hole, check on the inside just to be sure. And then I'll open it up with a step bit. So I had a box taped up to the ceiling here. And as you can see, I had my sound deadening mat already in place. So that black beetle is all over the drill bits, but no worries. I'm gonna sacrifice a blade and clean all that up so that the rubber grommet can go in that hole. Then I can pass down some wires. Okay, so technology problems in the microphone quit working for this section of the video. So you get a voiceover. Um, what you're seeing is I'm feeding the wires through the grommet, but uh, as you'll see as that feed continues, I already fed the wires through the um, glands on the, the two holes on the entry gland, and, and uh, you want to do that before you send this down through the roof, or you'll be pulling it back out and putting it back in. Uh, there's VHB tape on the bottom from 3M and uh, once I make sure that everything's in place where I want it, I'll pull off that tape and attach it. Next, some people don't like those glands pointing forward. Um, when you tighten them properly, they're waterproof, so I don't really see much of an issue with it. Uh, plus, once my Dometic RTX 2000 air conditioner is in place in this rear bay. The wings of that are going to hang over these as well, providing a little bit extra protection from the rain. Uh, I've already driven through a rainstorm since this was filmed and did not have a single drop of water come inside, so I feel pretty confident there's no issue with these aiming forward. Let me know in the comments what you think about that. As you can see, I have this attached now with the VHB tape and because I am not connecting my solar panels I'm just going to go ahead and put these connectors in a giant plastic bag for the moment until the next day when I get up here and do the panels. take care of that. All this needs is Dicor lap sealant around it and it's good to go. This is the wire on the driver's side which is attached to the pair of 100 watt solar panels. So they are safely covered as there is current coming through there if the sun is out. But otherwise this is what the inside of that hole and rubber grommet look like. And eventually, I'm gonna run this pair of wires down that column, back there in the back. Gonna come out here at the bottom, and this wall here will be where all of my electrics are contained, including a solar disconnect. And for now, Same thing going on on the other side, but no solar panels on this set yet, so no current coming through.
about selfie mode for van transitions this week. We don't do this very often. Uh, thanks for coming along. If you have any questions, let me know. And yes, people do complain about the grommets and the glands pointing forward. So let me know what your thoughts are. See you on the next one.